What's up everyone? I'm just five days away from heading to Utah and begin what I'm gonna call chasing powder. I'm going to Utah for a week, I'm coming home for a couple days and I fly back out and I'm going to Jackson Hole. I'm going to Snowbird, Solitude, Brighton, and Jackson Hole Resort, all of which fall within the top 10 resorts in the United States for the highest annual snow total. That's why I'm calling this chasing powder. I haven't had a powder day since 2020 and I'm determined this year is gonna be the year. But I wanted to take a second and show you all all of my 2023 gear before I get it packed up because I'm about to test out a lot of new products and so I'm gonna have a lot of product review videos coming out as well, so definitely make sure you follow along. One, to see all the powderness that I'm getting ready to go and try to chase down. Two, I'm gonna give a ton of different gear reviews on all sorts of different snowboard products once I return. So I wanted to run through my 2023 snowboard kit that I'm gonna be wearing and that way you can see not only the products I'm using, but also have an idea of what's coming in my next test and review videos that'll be dropping as well once I get back from the trip. Now, first up on my new list of gear is the White Space three layer jacket. Now, the reason I got this jacket is because normally when I travel, I pack several different layers. I would pack my shell jacket, several hoodies, a couple different layers, different things to layer underneath that shell. With this jacket, I have two layers already in one, so I only have to take one piece of gear versus having to take a lot of different pieces. And to me, the simplicity of that is just worth it. Um, I also got this on a really good Black Friday deal. It was 20% off. I used Rakuten to get some cash back on it. This is like a $500 jacket and I got it for 340, which I think is really fair. And so now when I'm on the mountain, I have this super thick jacket. It's got this nice Sherpa liner inside the jacket and so my other plan with this jacket is i normally would you know pack a jacket to wear on the mountain and one to wear off the mountain now i can wear the whole package when i'm out there ripping the mountain and then when it's time to go out to eat I just this. and i've got this really cool sherpa jacket to then wear off the mountain i'm really excited to test this one out and let you all know what i think and one other piece of white space gear that i did pick up is a white space neck gaiter. This is made of merino wool. It's really soft, really warm. And the reason I got this is I just wanted a nice warm layer to go over my face. And sometimes with some of the ones that I run, you know, you start talking, it gets wet and saturated and it does get a little cold and it also gets stinky. Well, where this is merino wool, it's antimicrobial. It's gonna keep it from getting smelly. Might be able to get a couple days of use before I feel like I need to wash this thing. And it's just really soft and comfortable. I've used it two days so far and I've been really, really happy with it. I'm excited to see how this does at colder temperatures. Now, next up on the list is some Burton Gore-Tex bibs. I had never actually worn a pair of bibs and I always just kind of wanted to try it. And I figured that way with a nice Gore-Tex layer from you know, chest level down, it's gonna keep me nice and dry on the mountain. It's gonna keep me from getting snow. And plus sometimes with pants, even with a belt, you know, you'd bend down to fiddle with your boot or do something and you get that cold draft of air that just rushes up the back of your coat and right into your butt crack. But with these, that's not gonna happen anymore. And honestly, I did not think I would be a big fan of riding bibs, but I've already been wearing these a lot on the mountain. And I have to say, these are super, super comfortable. If you are in the market for bibs, the Burton Gore-Tex ones are really, really great. I have these bibs as well as all this gear that I'm running through linked down in the description below. They are affiliate links, so I do earn a little bit from that, but it's gonna really help this channel out. So if you are interested in picking up any of the gear that I'm showing today, definitely use those links. I'm gonna really appreciate it. It'll really, really help me out. But yeah, definitely recommend picking up a pair of bibs if you haven't tried them before. I feel like I'm wearing like snowproof pajamas on the mountain. Since I've worn these, I actually haven't been wearing my pants. I've been sticking with these bibs. And one really great feature about these bibs that I didn't know until honestly I got on the mountain is the entire crotch is vented. So literally from knee all the way up and around to your other knee, it's gonna be able to open and unzip to vent. And for the airflow, it feels fantastic when you do start to heat up on the mountain. I really, really like these. Super stoked on these bibs. I also picked up a new helmet. This is the same helmet I actually ran the second half of last year, the Outdoor Master Diamond Snow. It's got MIPS in there to keep my brain nice and protected. Um, I just got it in a different colorway and I actually ordered this before I ordered all of my new gear. I'm really excited with how it all matches and color coordinates, but really, really happy with this helmet. Got a super soft layer, nice adjustable boa dial on the back so you can really dial in that fit when you're on the mountain. Vents that open and close, which I really like because that alleviates me sometimes feeling the need to bring a hood or something to block the wind out because I can just shut those vents. Been really, really happy with this helmet. Got some new camera mounts on there. Really, really pumped on this one. I'm also still running my Outdoor Master Ultra Goggles. 
absolutely love these goggles. They've never fogged. They sit really comfortable on my face. I've used them as warm as 70 degree days and as cold as like negative 10 wind chill days. Always had excellent comfort, excellent visibility. The lenses are magnetic. If you're interested in picking up a pair of goggles or a helmet, I do have Outdoor Master links down in the description below. If you use the promo code BOARDS, BIKES AND HIKES, it's gonna save you 15% off all your purchases. With these goggles, the thing that I really love is they come with a hard shell case, soft shell case. You're gonna get a high and low light lenses. Anybody I know that's tried them, a couple of my buddies have switched to these, been absolutely blown away by the performance of these goggles. Plus, you can get replacement lenses for super, super cheap. Be happy with these. I've also been running the DC Control boot so far this season. It's a mid-flex boot, and I, so I was going from a stiffer boot back to a mid-flex boot, but so far, I've been really, really happy with them. They initially, for the first two days, I was feeling like I took a bit of a step down in terms of quality when it came to a boot, but after these got broken in, these have been extremely comfortable. I've actually been you know, blown away by how comfortable these are. I just had to, this was the first boot, it really felt like I had a, a solid break-in period, but once they were broken in, they felt fantastic on my feet. I actually really enjoy having a mid-flex boot again because it's been a little bit easier for me to get those tweaks on those presses and different tricks and things. Another really big standout highlight of these boots for me has been how easy they are to get your foot in and out of, which I know seems like a silly thing, but the last boots that I did have, absolutely loved the boots, but when it came time to take it off my foot, it felt like an act of Congress to get my foot out of there. I mean, your foot was stuck in that boot really good. These are really comfortable, but the way it's designed, your foot just slides out really nice. So at the end of the day, it's just kind of nice to be able to get your feet out nice and easy. Again, the DC control boots, you got dual boas. You have your cinch strap. There's also a nice Velcro strap in there under the tongue. It helps keep that tongue in place. Been really, really happy with these after I got them broken in. They're super comfortable for walking around. I've done some longer days on the hill already and no feet pain, discomfort, anything like that. I also haven't felt the need yet to put in any sort of insoles or anything. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated. I'll have a full review of this boot coming definitely when I get back. And the main thing that prompted me to get those new boots, and if you've been watching any of my other videos, you know I've been rocking the Clue snowboard bindings. I've got several different videos about the Clue. If you're interested in them, let me know in the comments. I can link you those videos. I've done a first impressions video or review answering all sorts of different questions. I've been really, really happy with the Clue binding. Um, the great thing about it is it does offer the versatility of a step-in binding to use, but you also do have the traditional straps that you can just unratchet like normal if you want to choose to do that as well. So it's nice to be able to kind of get the best of both worlds. The performance of these bindings has been really great for me. They're extremely responsive. They've been really comfortable all day and been really, really pumped on them. I've got tons of videos covering those, so I'm not gonna talk about them too much, but definitely check out the Clue Snowboard Bindings if you're interested in getting a pair. And while I'm holding this up, I did pick up this, it's new to me, but it's a used Mind Expander Twin. I've wanted this board for like a year and a half and I found a really good deal on one on Facebook and I just had to get it to sort of complete my quiver, so to speak, so I say for now anyway. But I've been really, really happy with it. I've got two days on the mountain on it. It's been a blast to ride, really stable, gives a lot of confidence, really buttery, and I'm excited to get this one out west for sure. Can't wait to see how this thing feels in powder. I've been, like I said, I've got a couple days on it. It's been really, really fun so far. I'll also be rocking this season. I still have my Golden Orca, my regular Orca, and I did get the Battalion Party Wave at the end of last season. Those are my four boards I'm gonna be rocking all season. I feel like I got a good variety. If you can't tell, I prefer a directional board, so I'm actually having a really hard time right now picking which two I wanna to take to Utah, which two I wanna to take to Jackson Hole. So let me know. What board do you think I should take? Comment down below. Actually, by the time this drops, I'll probably already be there, but. I'll be rocking the Insta360 X3 this whole season, and then the Insta360 ONE RS. This is gonna be primarily my helmet camera mount. This one's gonna be on selfie sticks and all sorts of other crazy mounts. So I'm gonna be using both of these primarily. I also have the Insta360 Go 2 I'm gonna be using for a lot of different kind of fun things. This has actually been like the most versatile, fun camera. I use this one for everything on and off the mountain, but these two are gonna be my main on mountain cameras. Um, if you're interested in any of the Insta360 cameras, I can't recommend them enough. The battery life is fantastic. The footage quality is excellent. And there's just so much you can do with these cameras. I used the 1X2 all last season. It was the most dependable action camera I've ever used. So I went full Insta360 this year because I really, really like the software and the cameras. I love the 
color profiles and just the way the camera generally functions I've been really happy with. So all these cameras, can't recommend them enough. They're all linked down below. Or if you have any questions about these, let me know. I also picked up a pair of VO gloves for this season. I've wanted to try these for a long time. They had my size in stock and I bought them right there on the spot because I wanted to make sure I had these and they got here just in time to use for Utah. I actually have got one day on the mountain on them and they've been extremely warm. They also showed up at a really great time. We were having negative 30 days here at home. I used these when I was outside scraping the car off, kept me nice and warm. And the main reason I picked these up because normally when you're on the chairlift, if you're fiddling with your phone, your action camera, you have to constantly pull your glove off. And you have a little dangling wrist strap, which is great, but it's a pain to have to take your glove on and off all the time. Well, with these, you can just unzip, get your hand out, and then put it back in the glove. So it's nice to not have to worry about dropping a glove or having to take your glove completely off when you're on the chairlift. And another great thing that one day that I did use these that I actually really like, a lot of times your hands get sweaty. So when you get down to the bottom of the lift line, I like to take my gloves off, let my hands breathe for a second, and then put them back on. Well, with these, I can get in the lift line, open this a little bit, and just let them vent, and it keeps my hands from getting overly sweaty and saturated, which keeps the inside of the glove nice and dry. And even there was a lap or two where I would sort of just run it like that, and I'd have a little bit of a hole for ventilation, which obviously you wouldn't want to do on like a powder day, but on the East Coast, I know I'm not gonna get a whole lot of snow in there. So I just left that open to vent a little bit, and these have been extremely warm. That also keeps my hand a really nice, comfortable temperature in there. Can't wait to see how these perform in powder and on a colder weather day, but so far, I've been really, really happy with these VO gloves. Definitely check them out. The zipper design is awesome. I also am still running my G-Form crash shorts. If you don't have crash shorts, you're missing out because there's nothing worse than getting your cheeks clapped on a mountain when you catch an edge and straight down to your butt. I've been running these crash shorts for three years. They've held up excellently. And the thing that I really like about these is that they're very soft and pliable and you don't feel like you're uncomfortable wearing them. They don't really feel like an extra layer, but then you do have that nice cushion that does it's there on an impact and it's gonna help take the sting out of that fall. These have been extremely comfortable. I always wear these, always take them with me. And they've held up really, really well for the price. And I just run them through the washing machine like normal and then let them hang dry. But been super pumped on these. They've kept my butt beyond comfortable in every crash that I've taken. So with that, that is all of my 2023 snowboard kit that I'm gonna be rocking, especially on these bigger trips. I'm so pumped to test out the new gear and been really excited with how the gear that I've had for several seasons has held up as well. Did you get any new gear this season? If you did, let me know in the comments below. What'd you get? New boards, jackets, pants? I wanna know what you all are rocking, see what you all like, so then maybe in the future, you know, if I when I pick up new gear, I have some different recommendations of some different things to try. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like I said, I am getting ready to go to four really awesome resorts out west, so definitely make sure to follow along. I plan on posting daily vlog content from it. I'm gonna do a series that I'm gonna call Snowboard and Chill. I'm gonna have shorts coming out like crazy, as well as I'm gonna do gear reviews for all of this new gear that I'm gonna be testing out. So definitely follow along. I'm gonna have so, so much content coming for the next couple months of snowboard season, and I'm so pumped to take you all along for the ride. I'm Alex from Boards, Bikes, and Hikes. Thank you guys for watching. I gotta get all this stuff packed up because I'm going to Utah. See you all on the mountain soon.